Hi everybody, this is Marilyn with MKR Creations and today I'm going to be doing a memory decks card. Dina from Crafty Crafts by Dina is having a memory decks challenge and she is having everybody decorate a memory decks card and send it to her. She's a sweet lady out of Texas and you really should check out her channel. It's called Crafty Crafts by Dina. So anyway, for today, I had bought these Heidi Swap Memory Dex dies so I could cut out my Memory Dex cards, and I got this on Amazon. I'm going to use Forward with Faith. It's a paper collection from Echo Park by Lori Whitlock. Bought this from May May from May May Made It. And it is just a beautiful paper collection. I'm going to be using the stickers out of this collection. One of the cut aparts from this collection, and that's what they look like. I am using the um, Bible Pages page out of this collection. And these flowers are gorgeous too. And this is what the other side of the Bible page looks like. Here's another page. Multiple churches. And this is a uh, looks like a log type page. Another cut apart page. And this is a strip page for decorating different pages and such. Here's another decorative page. The birds are beautiful. This is a lovely, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's kind of a dark pink and light pink pattern. Another cut apart page with um, gold pattern on the back. Butterflies with crosses on the back. And this is really pretty. I, I had thought about that page, but I think it's just going to be too busy for what I want. Um, a lot of the memory decks that she's getting are very busy. Mine is not going to be that busy. Here's the other page on the back there. And then these trees, I think those are gorgeous. And then a plain taupe type sheet on the back there. So I'll move this out of the way. And I'll keep the stickers so we can get started. So I already cut out my pages. I cut out both types of memory decks. Um, a lot of people have been putting a pocket in it because she wants us to send our name and address and such to her for the um, giveaway. So then I cut this out. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite verse out of the Bible. It's be still and know that I am God. And it's from Psalm 46. And this I'm going to just do the edges on this so it will make a pocket and this will go down in there and then I'm going to take a white piece of paper and put my information on the back for her. And then I cut out these pages to decorate glue to this and decorate the memory of decks and I'm going to use art glitter glue for that and we'll get started. Our glitter glue does not take much glue to hold. Um, I You want to get the small metal tips when you get it so that it just puts out a tiny bit of glue. That way it does not warp your paper at all like some liquid glues will do because if they get too heavy they will warp your papers. Okay, so we'll line this up together. and. I know some people are using um, score tape, but I prefer not to with something like this. I'm not real good at lining things up right away, so sometimes I have to move it a little bit, and dark glitter glue affords me that ability to move things and move them where I need them to be. So, okay, I think that one is good. So we'll do the second one here.
Adina, she just lost her mom a very short time ago. So she is going through a lot of things right now. And she is a religious lady. So I think she will appreciate this memory decks card and that it is a religious card. Um, I'm hoping that it will help to bring her comfort. Um, when I send my information, I'll send her a note too with a sympathy card telling her that this is my absolute favorite verse from the Bible and that I hope that it will bring her comfort in her time right now when things just are not quite going as she had planned. Okay, so now I'm just going to put glue down the very edges here and put this together so that I will have a pocket then. I used a um, 110 pound cardstock for my cardstock on this because I wanted it to be good and sturdy because I'm going to be mailing it. So I want it to hold up to the mail pretty good. I think I should have probably put glue along the bottom here too. Just to help hold it together. There. And I'll use my bone folder to put that down where I want it. Okay, so we'll let that dry a second. So this was just one of the cut parts that was in the packet, and I actually used the round die to cut it out. And then when I, after I was done cutting it out, I cut off this bottom part here so that it wouldn't be hooked in. And then I just sliced each of the sides off a little bit so that I would have room to just slide this down in. And if I need to do it a little more, which is kind of feeling like I might need to, I'm going to have to take a little off another side here, and I can easily do that. Okay, so now for the front. Um, I thought the thing that would pop up nice and maybe give her some comfort is this for God so loved the world that he gave his only son verse. I thought that might bring her some comfort right now with everything that's happening and going on. But I think I'm going to need to put it on something to a background to make it pop better. I think I might have some light blue paper that might be the right color. I think this one will be the right color, so. We'll take it off there. One thing about these Echo Park stickers, they are very, very thick, durable stickers. I really like that about them. Okay, we'll put it down there, and then I'm going to just kind of cut around it for now and then take my fussy cut scissors and cut it better. You just want to leave kind of a little border around. So it just kind of pops and doesn't get lost in that printed page. Okay. It's a lot easier doing these borders when it's a square thing that you can just put on your 
paper trimmer and measure it up to be a little more exact than what I'm able to do this way. Like I said, she's a very sweet lady and I think she will feel the emotion that is coming through more than the, whether it's perfection or not. Okay. <coughs> so this is going to go right here and I'm going to pop it up with foam tape. Just kind of burnish that down. Take our edges off. And this is a Bible verse page. It's page out of the Bible. You can read some of the words. Some of the words are a little harder to read. I'll put that down like that. And then I'm going to come back. Um, I want to put some flowers around it. And I have some roses. Some white roses. I think I will make a spray in here somehow for that. So I want to do the back first. And not totally sure which sticker I want to use back here. Um, I've been kind of going back and forth on it. Um, just not really sure. thought about this tree, but I'm thinking that tree is probably going to be maybe too big. And I thought about maybe the birds, maybe some flowers. Um, maybe this. You can pop that up on there maybe. Or maybe do with God all things are possible on there. But that's not very big, so I would need something else to go with it. Maybe this... sticker here. The water can and the flowers. And then put maybe that above it. Yeah, I think that will work. And I'm not going to pop this side up because the other side is popped up. And it's got to fit in her memory decks holder that she's got lots of people sending things. So we want to be cognizant of that also. And we'll put, with God, all things are possible, that banner across the top there. So I think that will work for there. And let's see if this is going to fit or if I'm going to need to trim this down. I'm going to need to trim it down a little bit. My glue spread farther than I thought it would when I glued that. So we'll just trim a little more off this edge. Um, 
I put a ribbon through this so that would be easy to pull out. I think I might need to glue that. Let's see now if this wants to go in. Oh, let's trim them a little more off the other side and then we're going to have to stop because we're running, going to lose all our words. I'm really liking this trimmer. It um, has a metal guide that shows you exactly where your trimmer is going to go. All right, so now to finish the front. Okay, I just had my flower box here a minute ago. There it is. So let's move this out of the way. Maybe just a few little delicate flowers there to add a little interest. So I will add to this card for her on the back my information and get that in the mail to her. Um, if you'd like to be part of the challenge, go over and check out her channel. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe and help my channel grow. And I will see you the next time. Happy crafting, everybody.